Rat maker, rat maker, make me a rat. Make me an oatmeal rat. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, as you probably know, this is my new web series, Oatmeal Rants. Um, which I have my morning oatmeal. Excuse me. Drink my morning coffee. I go off on a little rant, a little off a little steam. Uh, previous rants have been about how um, there's these newfangled fortune cookies, um, about how uh, you can't find really good salsa at key food, about how you have to wait in line at key food at the deli just to get a little horseradish. Uh, so you get the idea. Uh, today's rant for those looking for motifs and patterns, like my rants of a few of them have been about key food. Um, excuse me. Well, here's a wrap. Which is about key food. Excuse me. Not about the problem I have with key food per se, um, but about the fact that key food isn't represented very well or at all, I think, in movies. You know, you don't see key food, which is a store I've been going to all my life. Uh, it's just down the street. In movies, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a movie where a character shopping at key food or uh, says to their mother, for instance, uh, hey, now we're out of milk. Can I go get some at key food? You know, where's key food? You know, this is a store. There's lots of locations all over New York. I've seen them. You know, not just there's not just the one down the street. There's there's ones in different neighborhoods in Brooklyn, Queens. I've been here for years. I've might never seen a character from Law and Order TV show. Not a movie, but still same idea. Uh, going to key food. Be nice. Say, when I see a movie or TV show, hey, look, there's my store. You know, I could say to someone next to me at the movie, "You were just there yesterday." You know, we just uh, we just went shopping there yesterday. Right. Well, that reminds me, we gotta go to Key Food. Something like that. You yeah. know? Be nice. Alright. Well, that's my wrap for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you soon.